Hey everyone, welcome back to the BVTV channel. We are here with another SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 ECW GM episode. We are talking about, well, the fallout from December to December where we had a perfect 5-star pay-per-view rating where CM Punk defeated Rey Mysterio in an epic last man standing match. Shawn Michaels survived the almighty Bobby Lashley in a steel cage match. Randy Orton basically killed the legend of Terry Funk, and uh, William Regal got the best of Ric Flair in a parking lot brawl. Their rivalry finishes here tonight in an epic match. And then, of course, we had the number one contendership, Armageddon Hell in a Cell match. We saw JTG, Umaga, Chris Masters, MVP, Shad, and John Cena in it, where Shad was able to pin Chris Masters on the top of the cell. I think it was actually the bottom of the cell after he threw him off for the one, two, three. Shad is the number one contender for CM Punk's ECW title. Those two men will meet at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. That's right, for that ECW title, assuming CM Punk still holds the title by that time. Now, Raw had a three-and-a-half-star show with The Rock beating Elijah Burke for the Tarotan W title. And you know what? I'm actually, I'm not okay with it. Never mind. It's half a star, a star, two-and-a-half, three-and-a-half, four, it, no. Just, just, just no. Meanwhile, on our show, we've got a Fatal 4 match, which will see John Cena, Sabu, Lashley, and Rey Mysterio go out. I don't think any of these guys are in a rivalry. Um, JTG and Chris Masters are in a rivalry, but they're also in a Fatal 4 match against Umaga and Salmon involved. CM Punk and Edge don't have a rivalry. Now, CM Punk and Shad, of course, have a rivalry, but because I think Shad is injured, or ter I know Terry... Who's injured? That's a great question. I've got, I know I've got like a couple injuries. Yeah, so Terry Funk is has a minor injury, injury for two weeks. So does Shawn Michaels, Randy for three. So that explains why Terry Funk is over there, and that explains why Shawn and Randy are basically being managers. I've got to be very careful about Terry, Shawn, and Randy during, during this episode, but also. MVP Batista go at it, and in a hardcore match to end their feud, Ric Flair and William Regal, because their fatigue didn't go up for some reason during the pay-per-view, so we kind of kept it there. We'll skip the Fatal 4 match, just because the first one was a story. Thank God John Cena finally got a win, and Umaga got a win. Okay, good good for Umaga. And we're going to play this one, because of course we want CM Punk to do all this kind of a rematch from the pay-per-view, one of the pay-per-views we had, where Edge... CM Punk to finish out against Edge, and I think it was, I think it was actually a ladder match, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, it's big there. I love how we were talking about Shad, and guess who they decided to decide to bring Shad? Love that. All right, and folks, interesting. First, he is the reigning, defending East India World's Heavyweight Champion, CM Punk. So he's a champion, probably a little bit banged up from uh, his uh, match at December to December. He's a man he knows all too well. He is the Rated R Superstar Edge. I see clearly. It's great to give the uh, ECW guys some time to recover from their brutal pay-per-views. I said we put on some pretty extreme pay-per-views all the time and you know, we, we run the risk of injury, and we've had a lot of... Thankfully, we've had a lot of minor injuries, you know? Like, we haven't had many major ones, um, and we've kind of been able to recover from them, I think, fairly well, and keep everyone, for the most part, safe. Yeet! Oh, never mind. Uh, yep, he, he... That he did. That he did. Uh, he did brag, uh, Taz. Freaking goofball. Kick him in the head, that's right, because Edge gets super weakened in this game very easily. Like he's got no uh, durability at all. Just keep giving him a concussion. Off the ropes. Oh, oh, I thought I DDT'd him. Never mind, he DDT'd me. Yep, there we go, Punk. That's where we go kick him in the face. Actually, no. Now we go. Uh, well, that's actually not what I wanted to do. Is always thinking three moves ahead. You can't outsmart this cat. It's also tough to outcheat him. He bends the rules oh. like they're made of pizza dough. 
What did he just say? He bends the rules like they're made of pizza dough? Who allowed that line to be in the game? Who said, you know, that's going to resonate with 2008 audience? He's got this crowd solidly behind him, and now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You, there we go. I wonder. Uh, I think Punk's got like a third option off the top. What in the... What? How? Oh my god, we're really struggling. Oh, we are really just struggling with CM Punk. It's okay, Punk. Take your time, champ. This is what happens when you're a champion. You defend your title so much. You get confused. You're exhausted. I mean, I think CM Punk has, I think, defended the belt more times than William Regal in both of his reigns. Like I said, Regal was a champ for a very long time for us. Like, he was, he was the ace. And in many ways, Regal still kind of is that ace, even without the belt. I'm ECW through and through. And I can't tell you how glad I am that we got kids like CM Punk representing Oh, the is this the neck breaker? Oh, wait, no, he's going off the top. Off the top and back drop edge. Ooh, hello. I think a GTS may do this here for Edge. Yeah, I think I think it's over. CM Punk is about to retain. GTS, go to sleep. Never mind. I, I thought he was, and he's not. As one of the most successful superstars on the WWE roster today. Now right back to the skull. He earned his spot. The guy went through tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh my! It's gonna take someone equally determined to knock him off his perch. Though Edge knew I was trying to split him open. Oh, we split him open anyway. Wait, how did Edge just get a finish? How did Edge just get a finish? What the hell are you talking about? This is great. I, I still don't understand how they gave Edge a finish. Doesn't matter. GTS, second time. He's already busted open. GTS, hello. Listen, Shad is getting a front review to what might be his future. Going to sleep at Edge. Uh, CM Punk for the pin. One to win, and CM Punk defeats Edge here tonight. And Terry Funk just kind of watching, like, yeah. Oh, he's very happy. Okay. I'm like. Terry was a bit too happy for me. <clears throat> All right, congrats to the ECW World Heavyweight Champion CM Punk on defeating Edge in this non-title match here tonight, keeping his momentum going. With that being his one next match. So if I was on SmackDown or Raw and I had a tag team, I'd, li I'd literally name them Funky Punky. Or Punky Funky, I don't know. It's such a bad name. It's terrible. But, like, for the memes. For the memes. And they've got the long hair. It just makes sense. Look at them. Look at them. It just makes sense. So we'll see Batista and MVP going at it. They're going to kick off their rivalry. I think they have a rivalry. Or is it Batista? I don't know. Who, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I think I had the three injuries that I kind of didn't include, like Randy, Sean, or, or, or Terry in, in any feuds. And introducing first, he is the animal, Batista. There goes the like, so with these, you know, big song. I'm trying not to, uh, not to really use him because the copyright thing. W, let me learn, learn my, maybe learn my, my lesson with Johnson. <laughs> I tried to take my video off the internet. I was like, what? Okay. And, ladies and gentlemen, folks, he is the man who has the longest winning streak in our entire GM Mode series history. He is none other than MVP Montel Vontavious Porter. Let's see the Pyros, what everyone wants to see. Here you go. And his match against CM Punk, he was unsuccessful and, you know, captured the East title a couple, I think a month and a half ago. But still, you know, he has shown and he's proven to still be one of the very best in the East Debbie roster, hungry for a world title shot. Or for another one, actually.
There we go. MVP Batista. Oh, okay. I bet he plays a lot of video games. Yeah, you thought you were going to continue that, weren't you, Dave? So let's work on the legs of Batista. You can't really do much after that, that's for sure. Come on, MVP, keep it up. No, 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 we can't, we can't have this happen. Facing off against Batista is like trying to wrestle a boulder. The animal may be large and intimidating, but he can also move around in the ring. Once he gets rolling, there's not much Ye to There we go. I used to, damn it, Jey Uso. See, I got so so used to him saying that. I actually was like paying to some of his like interview stuff. Oh, he's taking it's Sean. Time to give his opponent a piece of his mind. Oh, you know something? I'm not really sure if he can spare it. I don't think that was called for MVP. What did he's Sean do to you? One, two, I don't think y'all have ever feuded. Poor Sean's like, I'm just here to stay healthy, damn it. Look at this Batista. Contract, oh, oh my goodness. His That's just jealousy, plain and simple. When you're as great as MVP, all sorts of people try to tear you down. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna work. This could be it. That was gonna going totally work, MVP. Is he going for the moon salt? MVP with the moon salt. There's the cover. Can we talk about he just tried to do a well, he didn't try, he He's did a moon salt. He thought he was now. slick, he's about to get hit with the playmaker. The playmaker from MVP. Nails him. Obviously that's not gonna do it, but there we go. We gotta weaken the animal. Dave, you actually reverse quite a lot more than I remember. Oh. The fans brought their signage to the arena, huh? What's your favorite sign? I'm always partial to Taz is gonna kill you. I like that. Why do you keep going for that? The MVP is real determined to get like a, a, a roll up here. He does not want to be in this match at all. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh thank god. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, this is bad. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? MVP, I need you to get up now. I need you to get up now. I don't know what that means. I forgot what that means. But get up. Get out of there. Get out of there. Look at this. No fear on the face of this superstar. Yeah, that and 50 cents will get you a cup of coffee. Dude. <laughs> what? Why did you try that? Feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. Dude. There we go. This could be big, but it could go for the moon solo again, MVP. Too. Yes. We got a pinfall attempt right here. Oh, we got a two. We got a two count after that. Hello. That's right, MVP doesn't really do much damage to Batista. Batista's okay, high durability. The second Get playmaker to Batista. Playmaker Damn. Go for it. We're going for it. Screw it. Go for it. One. Two. The most disrespect. Oh. Don't oh, we speared him? We speared. The uh oh. <laughs> it looks like there's a beating of the minds going on in there right now. No, you don't. I, I'm not really trying to go. I was trying to go for a roll up, but I'll take the spear because it looks pretty cool, you know? The MVP trying to hit the playmaker here to Batista. Nails him. And that, that should actually be it. Referee, one, two, three. MVP picks up a huge victory against Batista here tonight. Why is Sean slightly sliding to the left? Like he was embarrassed. To be in Batista's corner, like he just lost. I can't believe it. It's okay, Sean. You have you haven't had the greatest run in this uh, th this this season either. Congrats to MVP on beating Batista and as we gone to the main event, a hardcore match between William Regal and Ric Flair. They get to end their feud officially right here on ECW. Please no one get hurt.
And because William Regal won at the pay per view, I think won at the pay per view. I don't know why I said won like that. It was so weird. But because Regal won at the pay per view in the parking lot brawl match, Ric Flair and William Regal will get it done right here tonight in the main event. I think it's only fair that we we use uh, Ric Flair, you know, have the good guy kind of win. It's interesting. First, folks, he is the only two-time ECW World Heavyweight Champion, none other than the man himself, the real extreme gentleman, William Regal. And his opponent, a WWE Hall of Famer, a wrestling legend, the 16-time World Heavyweight Champion, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, in the main event here tonight. An epic match is about to take place, folks. Hopefully you are ready for it to be a wild ride. Can Ric Flair's style and profile to the highest of highs here tonight? He's going to need to in order to beat William Regal in a hardcore match. Here we go, Flair, Regal, the last dance. Look at these chops from Flair. Oh, that Regal with a chop of his own. Flair trying to go back. Oh, never mind. I, th I thought they were going back and forth. Oh, yeah. looks like Regal is going to go back. Regal is a true life, real success. He's gonna style it. No, don't you dare. Oh. It's that's not arrogance, that's confidence. And confidence. You gotta admit, Flair did that excellently. He's choking Regal out with the ropes. He's choking Regal out with the ropes. If it was that bad, the ref would have DQ'd him, right? It's a hardcore match, Taz. We have them. He's swinging for the fence. We have no disqualifications, you idiot. I think Flair enjoyed that. No oh. That thing is meant to crush stone. Just imagine what it would do to a human body. Uh-oh. Man, there's a point. Oh, I could have did a finish. Never mind. Can't do it now. So Flair got him there. Oh, this Flair. Look at Flair. Oh. We're going to go for it again. He said, screw it. Get the knee. Oh. And Flair is still styling. He's going for the pile driver. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what is Flair's standing finisher the nature boy is still going strong after 35 years of the business 35 years god he's been in the business oh, wow. and a lot of superstars have been alive he thinks he's got one last world title running him and i'm inclined to believe it i don't think the fans like that go for much. it yep yep I'm sure this breaks this guy's heart it's these fans that pay his salary let's for going for this going for the suplex <laughs> to regal Go ahead, Flair. Do the style and profile on Zombos. He's being the nature boy putting on the show. I don't think Flair has gone off the top yet. Just like when he goes off the top. Go ahead, Will. Oh, even better. Okay. Oh, he stepped on him. Um, uh, Flair, you, you... Oh, no. Flair suckered him in. We've seen this He's gonna go right back to <laughs> Flair, the dirtiest the player in the game. And take every advantage he can. You don't get to be a superstar unless you grab life by the horns and wrestle it to the ground. Said, if you're a Flair fan, you're like, yes. Uh oh. I knew it was only a matter of time Got him. we saw that. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, oh, it's going to keep I just went for the finish. Hey, listen, it's a battlefield Let, Let me have my you. moment, you damn it. Everything in your power to survive. Uh, this is also vintage flair. Really hasn't been much of a hardcore match. We had, we had a sledgehammer. Now we're just in a chair. 
But I feel this is a very appropriate match these two would have for some reason. Because Flair just wants to crack this man, you can tell. I don't think that chair is going to be good for much after this match. Well, it's good for what he used it for, and that's all that really matters. What is this finishing maneuver? Oh my lord, Rick, 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 Slick Rick, you're you're doing a bit Man, much here. Holy hell. I wouldn't jump in there right now. Those superstars are really going at it. Maybe you're right. How about I just smack Rick you Flair just did some of the grimiest things. Like, yes, I know he's I know he's, he's the dirtiest player in the game, but I was not expecting Rick Flair to do what he just did. That that was a bit wild for me. I'm not I'm I don't know who's more excited. Me, Jesus. The fans, or the superstars themselves. I'm gonna have to go out on a limb here and see I'm the most excited. You got a problem with that? Alright, there goes Rick Flair going for the knees again. Didn't go for a little while. Another knee. Flair knows exactly what he wants to do. Flair was embarrassed. Do you think has the advantage in this matchup? It's too close to call. It all falls down to who wants it. Oh, oh my God, what a Regal, Regal with, oh, Regal with the chair right shot. Of steel oh. Feeding human skull. That match is getting ever more so intense. Ric Flair has described steel hey, steps. You ever thought about becoming a wrestler? Or what they call in this company, an in-ring competitor? Considering the fact that I'm afraid of my wife, I haven't really... I don't know where this is going. Oh. I think I see red. Yes, he's busted open. Oh Ric Flair. Well, this is not checkers. That's pretty obvious. This is pure... That's got to be it. The steel steps to the man. skull. Of, that's it. One, two... Oh, Flair's not done, for the love of God. Ric Flair has lost it. Oh, no, maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Oh! Flair's got cracked in the skull with a steel chair for the second time. This is getting a bit ugly. What are the minds of these combatants right now? About a million different things. Here's the deal. Oh, on the chair. Steps ahead of your opponent, especially in this caliber of a match. You've got to admit, this is the most yeah, wildest hardcore boy. match. We oh. Oh my god, this is nuts. That's it. To embarrass William Regal, that's it. One, two, it's over. Ric Flair wins this match in insane fashion. Regal and Flair put on the main event. That was a proper main event. You gotta admit, guys. That was pretty good. That was laughable. That was fun. That had about every antic Ric Flair could ever do in the main event. Yeah. Yeah. So the... And Ric Flair defeats William Regal in the main event of ECW. Regal, a bloody Here's match from this hardcore man. match. But really, he's just a complete brawl between these two. Congrats to the Nature Bar and win the match, folks. Oof, that's a nice stretch. No injuries. Heck yeah. Four, 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 five. We only had a four, had a four and a star show, but we did better than SmackDown, which was nice. But every match was at least a four. We had, like I said, we had that five. Uh, it's pretty nice to to um to have that. I also want to make sure I've got the contracts right. I feel like I have not paid attention to them. And everyone's on three weeks. Oh my God, you're 15 and 20. You're on an eight match losing streak. Poor Bobby. CM Punk's got a hell of a record. 11, 29, 15, 20. I'm just like curious to see. Oh, he's 24 and 16. He's doing kind of good. MVP is the one person who cannot complain about a record in this game. Ray's been terrible. Sabu's been even. Shad, I feel like Shad's been pretty well. He's, oh, he's been pretty good here, at least. Sean's I'm scared to look at. Oh, Sean's been pretty decent. Batista, I know yours is terrible. Randy Flix had a pretty good. Uh, well, what's yours? Yeah, it has no, definitely not been your best season, that's for sure. 
All right, everyone's got a thumb up there. I do want to go back to where is the patriotism? There we go. I'll keep that for right stand. We could actually, because isn't Edge Canadian? Instead of use, yeah, I think Ray Mysterio, because he's, yeah, I think that will. We probably have to give Umaga a rivalry. Oh my god. If we didn't want to give William one, Umaga could be it, but I kind of like having William in one, but I think I think William Regal deserves a, a, a pay-per-view match. So we'll give Ray a rivalry. We'll keep Ray in, in a feud. You know, William will have more TV time. And again, it gives Ray a feud, because we have really to do it. Besides the feud that Ray had with CM Punk, I don't think he had another one after that, before that, so... But everything looks good so far, rivalry wise. I doubt they fixed that. They they'll fix that afterward. I don't think I have anyone. Everyone's 100 popularity, so I can literally just skip to Raw. Oh, we got a 51. What did they get? They got. They also. How did How did they get a four star? They didn't have a match. What? Here at Raw, we don't think you realize how far away from victory. And the, are are you kidding me? Oh. Thank you, Vince. Are are you are you your coach? You're kidding me, right? You are the worst brand. Wait, how am I back down on fan support? Huh? How did I lose? How did they hold up? Where's the um? The how did I lose fans? It says they gained eighty thousand fans, not eight hundred thousand. Oh, I'm glad. Like I said, I'm glad the main event was a five star match, but I'm not understanding. They had four, and I had four. I'm not that makes no sense because the fan support saying I lost a crap ton, and the saying SmackDown gained a crap ton. So Raw and SmackDown both gained. I'm still not that far behind though. Like it's just not it, guys. It's just not that. That doesn't add up to me. I'm not. I'm not feeling that one. I don't know about that one. But where is slander? Because I do need that. And I'm gonna put title match hype here because we're gonna have CM Punk defend the title right before Armageddon. It's just a smart thing to do. The title. CM Punk Shad. Poor Shad will not have an easy time here. And then... Batista, Batista. Do I want to give Batista a title shot? It's in his hometown. I don't want to give him a title shot, so what I think we'll do... Ooh. Um... I'm trying to think, trying to think. You know what? Let's give. Let's give Chris Masters the shot. No, that puts JTG over there. No, so we don't want to do that. So I think Batista gets the shot, and MVP can come over here. Or what we'll do is they'll kind of represent each other. Because I want Shad to win. No, no, we'll do MVP over here. That way, oh, I can't do Batista because Batista's not. Damn it! <laughs> All right, so what we'll do is we will include. You know, let's give who hasn't had a chance against.
you know, it's screwed. Bobby Lashley hasn't had, uh, you know, anyone there. And so we'll put Terry Funk back with CM Punk for this week's episode. And Terry Funk can go over there with Bobby. Perfect. So CM Punk defends the ECW title against Bobby Lashley. I don't know if last he's had a title shot. So Bobby Lashley gets the main event. We main event CM Punk right before Armageddon. Punk defends. Shad's robbery. CM Punk and Shad's robbery is taken care of. And then in this one, we will do a tag team match. I want to make sure. Yeah, we'll do a tag team match. As Batista and Rey Mysterio. Ah, we got the tag team here. I like that. Batista and Rey Mysterio take on... Who's Batista's rival? MVP. And Rey's was William Regal. So that takes care of that rivalry. It's a good way to get them started. These three gets a tag. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. And then in three, it is JTG and Chris Masters. We will... I want to get them started in, on a singles match. I feel like that... Yeah, let's 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 give them a singles match to start. I think it's a good idea to kind of have them go toe to toe. So we've got all three rivalries: four, eight, ten. Okay. Which then we can put Sean. So now Sean's still hurt, and so is Randy. Randy will be hurt going into next week's episode, but he'll be healed after that. So Sean and Terry should be healed after this. Because we don't really have anything going on here, we can put in uh, Edge versus screw it. Where's Umaga? Perfect. Edge versus Umaga. HBK and Orton can just kind of be the cheerleaders there. So that's two, four. Sorry, that's four, eight, twelve, fourteen. That gives me four more. And we can do a Fatal 4-Way match with the four remaining, which is going to be John Cena, Sabu, Sandman, and Ric Flair. Cool. So that'll be the Fatal 4 there to kick off the show. Love that. Perfect. Everyone, everyone gets used. Everyone's on the card. Everyone is pretty much in a decent position. And I kind of like that we have the title match hype and a slander promo because I really need to be a little bit more aggressive towards everyone there. We'll skip that. We've seen them. We'll keep everything. I think the wait is that's pretty good. And so let's play JTG versus Chris Masters. I know it's like, oh, JTG should get the win, I think. Let's uh, yeah, let, let's use JTG. I think getting I think the face getting a win is big. It gives the heel something to go off of. So I can I can really spice up the rivalry. Yo 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 yo. Anyway, folks, introducing first, he is a former ECW World Heavyweight Champion. He is none other than JTG. And his opponent, none other than the man of the master law. The one and only Chris Masters. So Masters ready to go here tonight. Hey, Rick Flair's on the cover, it's pretty cool. All right, Masters JTG. Let's get him. Uh, why does that never work? Why does that never work? It's Chris. That should have worked. Damn it. I'm just like, oh, and we're getting away from that one. Yeah, yeah, do you mind? Bing. What do you think? 
Okay, that's actually a perfect. Whoa, whoa. I was gonna go for the face buster. Fuck, thank you. I love his upcut. I think his upcut's one of the best, like, in the game. He's three seconds away from a win. There we go. We found it. Let's go off the top, JTG. He's, He's reeling. Come on. Love that move. Let's go for it again. Screw it. Two second times the charm. Boom. Third time, let's go. Come on. Third time, third time, third time, the trifecta. Oh my god, we landed three different times. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Wow. This really is not going well for him. The neck breaker. Oh. Right now, JTG is decimating. Decimating. This is embarrassing for Chris Masters. This could be it. One, two. Oh my god, that was it. Oh my, Chris Masters just got buried. Buried. Yeah, that was arguably the worst showing for the... Poor Chris. He took the pin and then worked the match for the for the, uh, Hell in a, the, the Hell in a Cell match. Yo, 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 he just got burned yo. by JTG here tonight. Anyway, right, folks, congrats to JTG on winning this match for Chris Masters just got absolutely shattered on. Poor dude. Like, on a serious note, poor dude. Like, it, it doesn't get any worse than that. All right, folks, next up is going to be a tag team match. Or the Tornado tag team match, my apologies. As Batista will team up with Rey Mysterio to take on William Regal and MVP, the man who pinned Batista last week right here on ECW. Right, folks, introducing first his name with Batista. I don't want to be caught for a choice. We were just seeing his entrance. At the first week. And his tag team partner, none other than the master of the 619. He is none other than Ray Mysterio, the former challenger to ECW's World Head, ECW, for, these things, for CM Punk's ECW World Headway Champion. God, I cannot speak. And next up, folks, he is none other than MVP. We've already seen the entrance of the Pyro Circus. Same thing with this man. He's a former two time he supports our champ from the Real Extreme. Gentlemen, William Regal, everybody. Giving him his quick one for we already seen his entrance. Alrighty, let's get this show on the road. Alright, I... Oh, why is you... Oh, boo. To be... Oh, hey, don't, don't you, don't you bully the little guy. Get your little behind trying to bully Ray, Ray Mysterio. What? Got him, I got you, Ray, I'll do everything. He's making a cover. I feel like that would have literally like clocked him in the head. I, I know for a fact I countered that. Come on, Batista, counter. No, 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 no. No, oh, we're gonna counter this. We are gonna counter this. Batista, 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 Dave, 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 Batista. Oh, thank God. He saw that one coming. MVP, I'll come from anywhere. You don't know where I'm going. Yeet. I need to stop. Damn it, I've been listening to this. Arr. 
I hate that word. Not going to lie. MVP just got manhandled right there in a way I don't think I've ever seen this game. Like, the animation was just wicked for him. They call that a rope break? So, right, I think you got more important things to worry about. Some accuse MVP of overstating his abilities. Here's the pin. This could be it. Dude. <laughs> oh, poor MVP. He walked right into that. Oh, where is he? What? Riddle Why am I surprised? Life, real success story. Beam. He grew up on the streets and became a distinguished gentleman. We should all be very proud of him. He was that speared. Oh yeah. I what is this? He going for He's got this crowd solidly behind him. How did Ray Mysterio pick up William Regal? Do you just know sell the finish? This crowd is really swelling this guy's head. The fans definitely love this superstar partner, and for good reason. What reflexes? I bet he plays a lot of video games. I'm gonna say it now. There is just no way. Looks like he's taking his opponent. It, it, it's over for oh MVP. And he's about to get Batista bombed next, next century. Oh, uh, Regal's gonna counter. Regal's gonna do. <gasps> Regal messed up. Regal messed up, and MVP got Batista bomb to the next lifetime as Rey Mysterio and Batista pick up a huge victory here tonight. Huge freaking victory. Congrats to Batista on Rey Mysterio and Rey Mysterio on winning this tag team match. We're going to the main event where the ECW World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line, that's right. And the reason why I have to kind of skip over that is because I'm telling you, for some reason, Saliva and John Cena's song and Randy Orton's song and Shawn Michaels' song, those four and Triple H's song, those five get me copyrighted or my video is taken down. And I don't know what it is. I don't even make money, but WWE just likes to do that to me. So, because I like to do that, I have to do that. Kind of have to skip those things. But, um... Yeah, we're heading to the main event, folks. The ECW World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. CM Punk defends against Bobby Lashley. At this point, I feel like CM Punk is defending against almost half the roster. Anyway, folks, interesting first. He is the current reigning and defending ECW World Heavyweight Champion. He puts the title on the line tonight. He is other than C.M. Punk. And introducing his opponent, he is the walking Armageddon, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Can Bobby Lashley walk out the new ECW World Heavyweight Champion here tonight? If you were to do that, folks, that means next week we would see the rematch between Punk and 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 Bobby Lashley. Or if anything, that would make the the match at the Royal Rumble a triple threat match between CM Punk, Bobby Lashley, and Shad. Shad, the rifle number, number contender here. But if if Bobby Lashley wins, that alters the entire you know ECW headline match. For Royal Rumble. Here we go. CM Punk. Bobby Lashley. Oh, we got it. It's over. It's over. Go for the pin. Go for the pin. One. Oh, 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 oh. It's timeout. Timeout. You just launched me, like, to the next millennium. And I don't know how to feel about that. Why, why would you do You know what? No, Terry, you're injured. I can't. Lashley got caught taunting. Oh! Sam Punk is smart going right to it. Whoops. 
That's CM Punk saying, not today, not letting it happen. <clears throat> wow. Looks like they've got him here in the sleeper. Yet, but the ladder of success goes both ways. On the losing side, that means a trip down one row. CM Punk trying to stay right on top of Bobby Lash. I don't blame him here. You've got to be careful, Bobby. Bobby is not someone to be messed with. That was one hell of an athlete. CM Punk knows that. It was going to be a little bit difficult to put on that, that GTS. With those when you were the Bobby, the beautiful ring. counter there. Oh, but CM Punk Punk had that scouted. DDT right in the skull. And that's it. Punk is why he's going right back to the skull of Bobby. I don't blame him for doing this. You gotta do what you gotta do in this situation with a guy like Bobby Lashley trying to go for the GTS. Can he hit him with the GTS? GTS to Bobby Lashley nails him. The fans have certainly taken the CM Punk. Think Punk realized he's got to he's got to really wear down Bobby Lashley, and he's doing that to the T. He's putting a lot on the line going up there. He's going off the top. Oh, that actually worked. I can't believe it. Going right back to the skull. This is smart. Keep adding injury to the head. As one of the select few to have the opportunity to wear the ECW World Championship, trust me, Lashley, he's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. He, he I don't know how he actually hit that off the top of elbow drop. Dude. I thought he overshot it. And CM Punk saying, screw it, he's going off the top. He is thinking about this. He's about to go off the top rope and off the top rope up and up to Bobby. Let's do the table. Goodness gracious. CM Punk threw caution to the wind. Now Bobby Lashley, oh, about to launch CM Punk with that suplex right here on the outside. Oh. What's your favorite sign? I'm always partial to as is gonna kill. This punk not trying to work on the back here, Bobby. That used to get me amped up, no doubt. So we're down the walking Armageddon. He's climbing the turnbuckles. Will this screw it off the top row? Not the greatest one. Punk obviously intent on wearing down all of Bobby Lashley. I can't tell you how glad I am that we got kids like CM Punk representing the brand these days. I'm with you on that. Look at that. Oh, CM Punk splits Bobby Lashley wide open. But you always run that risk in a match like this. Unfortunate. What the hell are you talking about? Punk's off the top rope. Elbow drop nails him. Is this CM Punk's opportunity? Has he weakened Bobby Lashley enough to hit another GTS? GTS for the second time connects. Is Bobby Lashley history, folks? This Can CM Punk retain? Right One, two, three. CM Punk is still your ECW World's Heavyweight Champion. Well, you know what they say. Another impressive performance, but I mean, congrats to CM Punk on retaining the ECW World's Heavyweight Championship here tonight as he beats Bobby Lashley to retain the title. Hey folks, let's go on to, uh, I guess, hopefully we have done enough to kind of bounce back. The hard part is we have to deal with SmackDown, show SmackDown, then Armageddon, and I'm just really hoping that the slander just really helps. Awesome. Terry Funk is now 100% sure my because I mean, Randy Orton is the only one that's hurt for the whole week. Perfect. And in the meantime, I actually, whoops. No, so in the meantime, I actually sign all these guys. There we go. There we go. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. John Cook. Got kind of concerned. I was like, why does that sound look longer than it should? So make sure I got everyone going. There we 
gun. Terry, here's your damn contract. Yeah, you, yeah, you know when they have seven that you're doing all right. Randy then Rick. Let's make sure we get these guys their renewed contracts. Everyone's been extended, so it's perfect. Love that. Rivalries are all looking good. Love that part. I think it was what Randy for one week, right? Yeah, so once Randy's good, perfect. Yeah, Randy had strained quads, now it's strained, strained hamstring. Jesus. Yeah, the amount of minor injuries have been quite high. So another four, and oh, we got a four and a half there. Don't know how they got a four star show, though. I'm curious to see what their SmackDown rating was. Oh, they had the worst, three and a half. Which means they'll probably have a really good one now. How much do you want to bet? Four and a half star show. They had a four and a half star show, mind you, with not a single four and a half star match. They just had a four and a half star show with that with only one four star match. Uh, how does that make sense? Now, if we go here, SmackDown's going up somehow. Raw's about to go up. I'm still getting shafted. Somehow SmackDown lost fans, but they're saying I still kept fans. It don't make no damn sense. Because how are they going? Well, they, they, it'll probably be next week where they actually update the numbers. But the Harpers, I got to compete with New Year's Revolution. After two weeks. Then the Rumble. I have to win at the Rumble. Like, ratings-wise, I do have to win at the Rumble. If I don't win at the Rumble, I'm screwed. Because that's my only hope to have to deal. Like, the good thing is, Raw is out of a pay-per-view after Revolution. But I have to so try to survive then. It's about four more weeks after, or five more episodes of TV after that. It's not, it's not an easy task at all. So this is gonna, this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be really tough. But on the bright note. space no let's just go there all right let's see here what do we want for the main event I'm gonna say well to, truth be told we have seen a lot of yeah so Randy Orton still hurt but we'll do CM Punk here And CM Punk will kind of just kind of be watching what Shad does. I'll keep Randy over here, and then we will have Shad go one on one with Shawn Michaels in the main event. Kind of gets him ready for that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, here we can do could do a fatal four way. Let's spice up Batista and MVP's thing going on. We'll throw in Edge. And Umaga. No, 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 no. We, we don't want Umaga. Let's throw in Sabu. Something different, but at least Batista and Edge. I mean, the same we can have their rivalry. Here we will do a three way. This kind of will help out. Who was it? JTG and Chris Masters, I think, a little bit. No, let's actually make sure Rey Mysterio and William Regal are here. That way. You know, Ric Flair, his old yeah, that way Ric Flair, his old rival, can actually be a part of it. You know, that that'll really stack the odds against Regal on that one. So four, eight, eleven. 
we'll do 14 here because I want to make sure that we did uh, the same one for well actually no I think what we should do is I feel that a one on three match because what Chris Mass do is kind of go I feel like Chris Mass is trying to go him into a match so if we do JTG kind of getting goaded in, and well, instead of doing what we'll do like a one on two, so JTG will get goaded by Chris Masters to take on him and Umaga. So it's three, six, ten, fourteen. We still have four more people. Cool. We'll do a tag team match here. <clears throat> Who is it? It's Sandman and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, we'll do Sandman and Bobby Lashley. Versus, ooh. Sandman and Terry Funk versus John Cena and Bobby Lashley. That's a nice tag team match. So we've got things going on. I like that. Everything is kind of different for the most part. We have a solid show. Obviously, we'll play the main event. I'll let the Fatal 4-Way match go. I'll, I actually might play the 3-Way. Um, but we'll definitely do the handicap match. I, I actually know. I'm probably going to let the match four and match three go because so I want to do match two and match one two and the main event so that's what we'll probably do there but folks hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode we're still getting shafted as always like it seems like I only kind of survive for a little bit off of pay-per-views I don't know what it is it just the game hates me <laughs> I generally feel like this game finds ways to hate me but um, if you do like it, please do like, like I said, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the BVTV Gaming channel. We will see you all next time, everybody. And with that being said, as always, stay off the hook. Peace out.